there are quite a few terminologies which are being uh, used in the field of uh, control and automation uh, one of which is PNID and PID I, I wrote it to, together because to make it very clear uh, the PID, PNID is the piping and instrumentation diagram which replicate the complete plant uh, installment base like every every part every symbols every instrumentation every pipe which has been uh, installed in a plant uh, in a refinery in a facility uh, you have to replicate it in uh, graphics in a document uh, so so that document is called PNID and that document is the reference point for any person working uh, with the iron gas field or any other automation field so you you, you must have this you must know about PNIDs you must know uh, what are the symbols the basic symbol uh, you symbols used in the PNIDs uh, it is also important to know how to read the PNIDs and these PNIDs plays very vital role uh, for not only one engineer but all the engineers but for automation and control engineers the reference point is PNID whenever they get some uh, project there is a project designing phase uh, they, they go through uh, hundreds of PNIDs they study the process they see what are the control part in the PNID so uh, knowing a PNID knowing the basics of PNID could be like a backup your hand you, you must know PNID's uh, standards, the practices uh, before jumping into the uh, control and automation field. There is another term used PID. So PID is proportional, integral and derivative and actually it is a controller, it is a controlling methodology. So it is uh, auto automatically control uh, nowadays soft controller which controls your analog processes so that, that would be discussed uh, in, in our training sessions as well we will implement PID uh, we will see how to implement the PID uh, then there is another uh, abbreviation there is another uh, terminology use uh, FAT which we already discussed uh, factory acceptance test uh, the test carried out in the laboratory uh, or the lab environment, the standard lab environment. Then there is SAT site acceptance test. So that is the test conducted. The application, the developed control system part test uh, executed at the site. Then there is uh, another term called FNG. Some, some people call it FNG, some people call it FGS, majority call it FNG. Uh, which means fire and gas system uh, which is used to detect any sort of fire or any gas emission or uh, any trouble um, in the in the um, iron gas field so this is a sort of system developed for the uh, safety of the plant then there's another term which I didn't mention here which is called ESD emergency shutdown system uh, which 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 is part of uh, FNG sometime which may be uh, isolated from FNG sometime so emergency shutdown system is a, a sort of higher higher level uh, program or, or the system which uh, continuously monitor your plant and if it finds some sort of abnormality which can lead to catastrophic situation which can lead to hazardous situation it automatically shut down your plant in different levels like uh, there, there, there are different levels uh, unit level uh, on your complete cell level or your plant level so there, there are many levels level one two three then there's a PLC which is uh, our topic today programmable logic controller DCS distributed control system SCADA supervisory control and data acquisition then there is a BOM term which is quite often used uh, bill of material ICSS integrated control uh, system and integrated control and safety system uh, what is ICSS? ICSS is the combination of different parts like PLC, FNG, ESD and DCS it, um, there might be SCADA as well so and RDU which I missed here 
so these things these all things are integrated in one system which we often called icss integrated uh, control and safety system uh, another term which is used modbus modbus is a communication protocol developed uh, in early 70s or 60s for communication between uh, different devices and plcs or different plc between different plcs as well there is uh, ethernet which is commonly known there is a uh, RS232 standards recommended standard 232 which is the uh, wiring standard like how do you wire uh, RS485 RS232 is used for uh, point to point connection RS485 is used for multi drop multi point connections serial communication is also uh, used uh, one term which is referred to as sometimes modbus communication sometimes serial communication which was the older uh, ways and method methods of communication then there is a field bus uh, devices and field bus communication method the way to uh, combine different field item, uh, components different field devices uh, in in a in a in a group and then you can communicate th those to the main control system like PLC and DCS and whatever. Uh, another term uh, which is used um, is probability uh, and uh, or you can call it likelihood. Probability uh, and there is another term uh, impact and cell. So these these three terms are interrelated. Cell uh, is actually used for uh, assessing the safety integral level like how much uh, an equipment or how much uh, process is safe so how do we know we we categorize it uh, through cell level uh, there are four cell level from uh, ranging from one to four uh, in our industries majorly cell one two three are used so how do we measure cell level cell level is being measured through knowing the probability and impact of any process or any error so by studying probability and impact we assign a specific cell level to specific process or sometime to specific equipment as well what is cell sys this is a safety instrumented system a safety instrumented system is that system uh, uh, which is which is uh, there to uh, make your plant safe which is there to avoid your plant from any catastrophe any hazardous situation any abnormality uh, it is uh, sometimes referred as a ESD uh, but this is a broadly uh, used term even the, the Delta V uh, safety system is also referred as Delta V SIS